Back now with better health. Tis the season for all things pumpkin, as we know. And Ashley Broder from Active Lifestyle Fitness jumping on that bandwagon with pumpkin flavored protein bars today. <laughs> Tell me all about it. Why did you choose pumpkin? <laughs> well, because pumpkin's delicious. You're eating them already. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd try it. <laughs> so, um, you know, pumpkin, very healthy. We've got some cinnamon to kind of balance it out and high protein. It's high yep. protein, low fat, depending on what you're aiming for, for your macronutrients. Also low in calories. So um, you can That's divide great. them by eight and, and get a lo little low calorie snack there. How so, low calorie talking? About 70 calories. If you split them up into eight, it's about 70 mm -hmm. calories a piece, about two grams of fat, nine grams grams of carbs, seven grams of protein. So it tastes like fall. Not too. It does taste it's like fall. It's delicious. Yeah, yeah it's good. good. So let's make them. You ready? Let's do it. All right. I'm going to have you take a uh, pumpkin here. You can scoop about um, half a cup of pumpkin in there. I already measured this out. Um, I've got a half of a cup of unsweetened almond milk. Okay. So we're keeping this low sugar as well. That's easy. I feel like there isn't much of a difference with the almond milk. No, whether it's, it's sweet yeah, or not, it doesn't. Yeah, it tastes too different. It's That's a little it. more. Yeah, it's definitely a hefty half cup. <laughs> <laughs> I was just emptying the can, assuming okay. it was a half cup. <laughs> uh, you really like pumpkin, I guess. Yep. We're gonna do one cup of oats here, uh, rolled oats, old-fashioned rolled oats. Um, I get them right from Big Y, they're pretty good. Um, we'll also have you do two scoops of Quest Vanilla Protein Powder. Now, you can use any vanilla protein powder, but mm -hmm. I find Quest um, to be best for Takes cooking. The best. So, Quest is the best. Yeah. Quest is the best. Two um, scoops of the Two scoop? scoops of that, okay. yeah. We're gonna do a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon here. Very good. This is easy. Yes. Not too many ingredients, easy to put together. We're gonna do one teaspoon of baking powder. Sure and one is. teaspoon of, this is pumpkin pie spice blend. Oh, I didn't even know they yeah, had so that. you can get that at the grocery store. That makes and do sense. one teaspoon of that. Now, you can mix this up in a blender. Oh, forgot the egg. One egg, too. One egg. Um, you can mix this up in, if you have a high-powered blender, you can use a blender, or I'm using my um, food processor here. You can do a food processor, too. Yeah, those too. things are magical. So, yes. Yeah, so, we're going <laughs> to just put it in here. We're going to blend it up till it's nice and smooth. doesn't take very long. It should become, yeah, like, a, a cookie dough sort of batter consistency here it takes only about a minute or so really get the oats ground up in there then you're gonna take a loaf pan you're gonna spray it with non-stick spray yep. um, pour the ingredients in there and then you're gonna put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to an hour oh, so just to kind of let it solidify and rise a little bit then you put it in the oven, 15 oh, to 20 see. minutes, and you end up with this. So um, this one's in the loaf pan. Those yep. ones I cut up. Um, they're pretty tasty if you have yeah, a little pumpkin are. craving. And it, they're soft. I like it. Yeah. How so, much protein is in this? Uh, about seven grams of protein in each small square like that. So if you could split them into four if you wanted to, mm -hmm. um, and you can get a little more protein out of it if you wanted. It's a great snack. Easy yeah, to make. Yeah, definitely. All right. Thanks, Ashley. Thank Where can you. we find the breakdown of this one This more is time? posted on my blog on ActiveLifestyleFitness.com. All right. Awesome. Thank you.